Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a strange uh, moment. Uh, we just hit 5,000 subscribers and before anyone comments, I know it's not that big of a milestone, but for me, it feels like a really huge milestone. We haven't had a major subscriber milestone in my opinion for like a year when we hit a thousand subscribers pretty much a year ago. Actually, like quite literally, I think a year ago to this day, we hit 1000 subscribers and now we're at 5000 and it feels like a really big moment for me personally. Um, we're <laughs> as crazy as it is, this channel is now probably one of the bigger transit channels in, in Canada, if not, you know, North America, at least for people who are actually like, you know, talking dialogue on transit all the time, which feels really strange and cool. Um, this is going to be a long video probably, and there's going to be a lot in it. And so down in the description, I'll, we'll try to include some timestamps, links, etc. as I mentioned things. So kind of, uh, grab your popcorn and sit down because it could be a long one, but, uh, Try to watch it, uh, try to watch through, see if we can get uh, people to watch more than like a minute of this video. I'm kidding, but people don't always watch all of the videos and that's fine, but uh, let's see. Let's uh, try to watch the end. Uh, maybe I'll put some special surprise at the end, but uh, thanks so much. Uh, and uh, yeah, on to the main content of the video. So the first thing I've got to do, and I, I actually have a list because there's a lot of people I want to thank. Um, yeah, I want to thank people. It's corny, but I really feel this is a big milestone. And there's a lot of people who I have not given nearly enough credit for the success of this channel. And I'd like to give them uh, credit for that. So um, first person I have to thank is Ellen, who films and edits a large percentage of the videos. She contributes a lot to the channel and to my madness. And so have to thank Ellen first. She's the single biggest thing that's helped me make this channel. Um, I have to thank my family as well because family supportive and stuff. But next, all of the other people who are probably much less obvious and interesting. So I want to thank my friend Corey, who I took some geography classes and other classes with in university. Just a great guy who I chatted with a lot, but uh, he was uh, almost equally as insane as me and woke up at almost like 6 or 7 a.m. one morning to go ride around the whole TTC network in literally negative 25 degree weather um, to film it for a video. Uh, I'll link that up here, but if you haven't seen it, we visited every subway station on the TTC and I have to thank Corey because that's the first like serious YouTube video I did. Before that was just like random videos of trains, but that was when I was finally uh, in the video and so I can't thank him enough for that. Uh, next up would be these are people who probably don't watch uh, that many of my videos, if any, um, but who kind of inspired me with their own YouTube channels. And I'd say like Jeff Marshall, obviously. Uh, people always ask me, have you seen Jeff Marshall? And it's like, how could you not see Jeff Marshall's YouTube videos? They're everywhere. And then also Yute Lee, because um, I've been chatting with him recently. And I mean, I remember seeing his videos on like Chinatown and on the uh, Lionsgate Bridge and thinking, hmm, it's kind of cool how this guy like editorializes on video. That's that's a cool idea. I, I probably should do something like that. And so, yeah, thanks to those guys. Um, the next people are Alex, Seth, Brian, Juan, Misha, Daryl, Rob, Christian, and Henry, which are people who pretty much mostly have just talked to online through the, my years in university and also in the YouTube channel, but people who I talked to a ton about transit. And I mean, these are people who really stoked my interest in transit, just chatting with them. And so I probably wouldn't have kept making YouTube videos about transit if it weren't for the discussions I had with these folks. And so I have to kind of say thanks for that, guys. Um, next up is Talus. Now you might be wondering, well, Talus is great, but why are you thanking Talus? Well, if it weren't for the folks at Talus who invited me to the open house last year, I'll also try to link that video up here, I wouldn't have met uh, Mike, which Mike is a great guy who I met who writes for uh, London Reconnections and he connected me through these kind of meetings that he has on a regular basis with a bunch of transit people who I uh, include uh, John, Chris, Steve, uh, all really great people who I met uh, through Mike. If I'm forgetting anyone's names, I'm sorry, uh, but really awesome people and so cool how uh, transit people are not really condescending, they're really open even when they're really experts at something, it's amazing how open people are to hearing your thoughts and opinions and ideas. And I think that only makes transit better. And so I have to say thank you to all those folks. 
Um, Jake Duffy, a, cl a close uh, friend who I've chatted with a lot. Um, someone I have to definitely say thank you to. Supporters of the channel like Adam Murphy, Adam Davies, and Graham. Uh, guys who've really been big supporters of the channel. I've talked to them a lot and they kind of have helped me on an ongoing basis and so I have to thank them. Ben uh, from the Nova Bus fan. Haven't met, known Ben for that long, but the collaboration between our channels has been fantastic and I really wanted to say thank you. Um, it's great to see other people making like high quality transit content um, in Canada and I think it uh, there's some, lots of room for that. So thanks to Ben and hopefully we have lots uh, more in store in the future. I also have to thank all our Patreon supporters. Um, it's incredible that people are passionate about the videos I make and passionate about supporting our channel. Um, I can't really thank you enough, um, especially like uh, some of our supporters have gone way out of our way, their way, like uh, Jordan Hollingsworth, who helped us make uh, maps for like our Patreon project and stuff. Um, I'll put a link to that video up here. Um, but just thank you so much. It's incredible. It's really awesome. The community we have uh, there, especially as the channel has gone to such a large size, it becomes really hard to communicate with people, which is sad because one of my favorite things about YouTube has been all of the people I've met just through comments and stuff. I, I still, uh, to this day, I read every comment and I try to reply to like almost every single comment on my videos, which is a gargantuan task because now we have over 200 videos and people will still comment on old videos and I wanna talk to you guys. So um, definitely if you haven't, consider joining our Discord ser server and uh, chatting with us. It's really great to get to know people and it's a great kind of forum for discussion, especially about projects of different shapes and sizes and, and hearing uh, people's perspectives and also getting like updates and stuff on those projects. But uh, thank you so much. Uh, and also thank you to all of our subscribers, like just subscribing to our channel, liking and sharing our videos, all these things are what created this kind of largest channel now. And uh, I really appreciate you guys for it. I also want to thank the teams from the REM and the CRL projects. Um, I have got lots of uh, appreciation for people in different transit projects and agencies, but these guys went out of their way to help me out uh, in making my recent demystified videos, and those were really successful. Um, quick, quick note, we gained a thousand subscribers in like the past two weeks. Uh, which is insane. And those videos were a big contributing factor to it. So thank you so much to you guys. It, it really means a lot to me. So the next thing I wanna talk about is where the channel is kind of headed and thoughts I have, ideas I have. Um, as always, I like to point out that we have a Q and A that we do every month. Um, go uh, ask your questions in that Q and A link. It's a Google form down in the description will answer your questions, um, even if it's uh, super long or if they're, you know, personal questions. We like to answer everything. It's just great to get to know the community. Um, as I said, join our Discord and we like to chat with people there as well. But uh, just in case there's anything I don't really cover in this video, which I hope to, but there's a lot I want to cover. So um, the first thing I want to bring up is some people have been asking like, oh my goodness, you're making all these international videos. Like, uh, are you an international channel or a Canada channel? And I want to make it clear, we're still a Canada focused channel. I mean, I live in Canada and uh, to be fair, I can never give the same depth of analysis and depth of thought on systems in countries that I didn't grow up in and that I don't live in. Like, sure, if you live in a country for 10 years, you can give a pretty interesting and strong opinion on on their transit systems, etc. But I mean, come on, I've grown up, spent a fifth of my life at least in Canada. So obviously I'm gonna be able to have the most interesting insights here. And so Canada will never not be the focus of the channel. But of course I want to try to highlight projects around the world. And a lot of the benefit I think is that, you know, if you're from a different place besides Canada, of course you're still interested in Canadian projects because you should just you should be passionate about transit projects basically anywhere in the world. I don't think it really matters where they are. Um, sure, it's great when in your own backyard you can go use a system, but how often is that? I mean, I'm passionate about the Montreal Metro and I've never lived in Montreal. I, I don't have uh, current plans to move to Montreal, but it's just great knowing that, you know, in other places they have fantastic transit and like, what can we learn from that? What are they doing right? What things should we steal from them? What good ideas? And it's the same for, uh, other places in the world like London and like New Zealand and Australia because I know people want me to make videos on Australia and there's lots of videos I want to make on Australia and there's videos I want to make on Mexico City and on 
uh, Buenos Aires and on uh, Berlin and Paris and Moscow and China and Japan and South Korea. Seoul in particular is just incredible. Um, I want to make videos on uh, Hawaii. I want to make videos on Brazil and Chile and Colombia. And I, I forgot, you know, I haven't even, that doesn't even get into the systems in, you know, the Middle East in Africa and in India where there's like an explosion of new systems. Like it's basically impossible. Um, I mean, Delhi has an incredible uh, metro system they've built out. Uh, India is doing high-speed rail. Um, in Africa, there's projects in Senegal and Morocco and Ethiopia and South Africa and uh, uh, all over the place. And there are so many projects I could cover. And so don't take it that I don't cover a project in a specific area as I'm not interested or I don't think it's a great project. There are just too many projects out there. and. I wish there were more people covering transit projects, but that's why I created the channel, because I think there's so much out there in Canada, but also around the world. And I think that um, learning about systems that you might have never even heard of, or that you might not be that interested in, is so valuable because there's always things you can learn from them and things that you can steal and go back. And a lot of the times these are minor things, but you know, they might not be expensive additions to a system, but they're just little things that just go the extra mile to making cars less attractive and to making transit more attractive and I think that's the point of everything I'm doing is to try to make transit better, share ideas and also just say like hey transit is great and I don't like the fact that the world is by default at least in North America you know based around cars and we don't think about what the world would be like if transit was the default uh, that people used and or if walking and cycling was uh, a bigger factor and so through my videos that's something I want to communicate and it's something I've always uh, intended to communicate. It's just that transit is special and it's something that we should share more about and people like Jeff Marshall um, do such a great job of it but you know one or two YouTubers can't cover the entire world's transit uh, and railway and transport networks and so that's why I made this channel to try to do that and uh, so that's kind of my, my long-term uh, pie in the sky vision. It's just to cover transit everywhere, irrespective of jurisdiction, and just to say like, what did they do well? What do I think they could have done better? And uh, what can we learn? Now, in terms of specific video ideas, uh, all our major series are continuing. And I think a uh, problem is that sometimes, lately, it's been hard to continue certain series. Station focus, vehicles of transit, um, visiting different stations, those type of videos are hard to do because frankly, well, British Columbia, where I'm currently living, is doing pretty well virus-wise. I don't really feel good about hopping on a bus to go see a station while there's people who need to use the bus for far more important things. And so while it is possible that I find other means of getting to locations, um, I don't live in a super transit accessible area. And so I want to leave those transit seats to people who actually really need them. And so lately I've been taking a break from videos where I have to go out to stations, etc., and focusing on ones I can make when I'm at home and safe and keeping my community safe. And so vehicles of transit, station focus, all series that are very much continuing, but things that are definitely on a bit of the back burner right now until the situation improves a bit. We do have pre-filmed videos, which we're kind of slowly releasing, but again, it's hard for us to do it en masse uh, until things have improved and we don't really want to. Um, that being said, our other series right now, like Future Of, including airports, cities, demystified, my kind of opinion videos and editorializing, that's all going to continue because it's something I can make from home and frankly, not necessarily easier videos to make. Um, you'd be amazed the amount of time that I put into videos like Demystified, Future Of, along with Ellen, there's just a ton of work in researching, drawing out maps, learning about systems, especially when you're not familiar with them. And so it's difficult, but we do it because we're passionate about it and we want to create videos for you guys. And so that's kind of the status of our different series. I know it's probably a bit confusing that we've been releasing different stuff. And the reason is just that we're kind of adapting to the current situation. But uh, the long term goal is to have a balanced you know, relatively balanced release schedule where we're basically releasing one of each series uh, and then doing that again and again. I should also point out that I know the release schedule is a little crazy. Um, my long-term goal with the release schedule and kind of the transition I wanna make with the channel is to go to around every three days. I've been doing every two days for the past couple months and what I find is every two days is just a little bit too much typically. 
and every three days is I think probably, you know, more of the sweet spot. And so long term, I think you'll see videos every three days, but I don't really want to commit to a certain, you know, these days or this schedule because, you know, when I want to make a video, I want to make a video. Um, today, for example, there was no intention of making a video and then our channel shot up to 5,000 subscribers and I said, well, I want to thank all of you guys and so I made a video. I also want to mention, I already did mention a bit, but community stuff, keep on the great comments. I really like seeing all of that. I like talking to people on Discord, etc. I like opportunities to collaborate. Uh, if you have an interesting collaboration you have an idea for, send me an email. Um, my email's on the channel and I'd love to talk to you about it. And if you're a transit expert or professional, I'd love to do a video featuring you. We've already done a video uh, featuring Jonathan English that was really awesome. It was well received. And so I'd love to do more videos like that where I kind of talk to you about transit projects and your thoughts because uh, my voice is far from the only one in the space and I'd, I'd love to hear other people's thinking. So I think that is pretty much everything I have to say. Thanks so much for the support. 5,000 feels really incredible. Um, it feels kind of unreal to have that much support behind the channel, but I would consider it a win uh, for the transit community and for a bunch of nerds and geeks who are really into the finicky details of things like platform heights and electrification type and uh, upgrades to railways and different things like that that most people would never really find interesting, but that we obviously do. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Join the Discord if you haven't already. That's all I gotta say. Thanks so much.